Hi guys, guys. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween. The t-shirt's out. Even though I literally could wear this all the time. I don't know why I pulled here, it didn't show anything. Did I get you that? No, I ordered it. Alright. I don't have a Halloween top, but I've got bright orange top. So today's video is going to be a Halloween quiz. Dun, 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 dun. And the quiz master, aka Mama Dinsmore is ready and waiting with all these different questions we have. So exciting. So we're gonna get straight into it. This is Halloween, Halloween. Okay, so the first round is anagrams. And then the grams. So the first anagram is money bag. What's an anagram where it has to make another you get a word out of it, yeah. The clue is keep an eye out for this monstrous figure. The second one is colour blind, but colour doesn't have a U. Doug. Colour blind, Doug. Yeah, as in D U G. The clue is if you hear a scream, it may be one of these. How many words is it? It's just, it's just one word. Thanks, Mummy. Okay? No. Yeah, we're going to have to go on. We can come back. Can you give us another clue? No, that's the only cream yeah. I've got. That's the only cream, <laughs> the cream you've got. <laughs> it, it, it's pink ump. So it's P, so pink, P I N K U M P. Okay, and the clue is you might have scarved one of these. Scarved? That's, that's the clue I've got. Number four, the anagram is tarot tricker. So that's T A R O T T R I C K E R. And the clue is a common phrase. Number five. Rural, rural peanuts, so R-U-R-A-L, <laughs> peanuts, easy for me to say. P-E-A-N-U-T-S. And the clue is an otherworldly experience. Are you struggling with that one? No. Yeah. I'm not very good at anagrams. Because <laughs> I just keep rereading the words. <laughs> well, I'll give you another clue of mine. No, mine's not. <laughs> it's one of my uh, favourite programmes. It has my boys. Yeah. I put transport. <laughs> it's a posh person to use public transport. It's a world I'm so excited and I can't read all the words and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> all the words? All, all the words. words. Are we okay? Yeah. No. <laughs> Six. The anagram is agent verso. So it's agent and then V E R S O. Agent A G E N T. Yeah. And the clue is a burial monument. What's a burial monument? I can't say because that's the answer. <laughs> you may have on your grave. Mama. Okay, seven. The anagram is tepid fire. Can you spell that, please? Yep. T e p i d. Fire. I r a. Yeah. Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> and the clue is really scared. Oh no. Really scared? <laughs> oh yeah. no. <laughs> if you're really scared, what are you? Right, the anagram is rosiest input. So that's R O S I E S T input. And the clue? Perhaps involving a black cat. 
I can give you another clue if you like. How many words? It's just one. Would you like another clue? No. Oh. Claire, would you like another clue? Don't walk under. Don't walk under a ladder. I'm not sure if I spelled it right. Right, so number one, money bag. What did we think that was? Boogie man. Boogie man, yep. Number two, colour blind dog. A screen, blood curdling. Uh, do you know what's even more annoying? I kept saying blood. But I couldn't work out the rest of it. <laughs> All I could think of was Doug from up. <laughs> Number three, pink ump was easy. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Yeah. Number four. Trick or treat. Yeah, trick yep. or treat. Number five. Supernatural. Supernatural. I've been very uh, disappointed if you got that right after the clue I gave you. Number six. Gravestone. Yeah. Dr. Gravestone. What's that from? Oh. Are you alright, Emily? I literally sat and said grave and I said there's not the word there's <laughs> the letters there to be able to spell grave. Silly and then I'm going tombstone. <laughs> as soon as she said the first clue, I had it. Look. Okay. Number seven, tepid fire. Petrified. Petrified. Yep. So I've written down terrified and realised I've not put a P in there. And then changed it. Oh, that's a, that is a cross. Okay, and uh, the last tick. one, Rosiest Input. Superstitious. 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 Very stupid. Yeah. Superstition. <laughs> so that's the wrong, because it's not... I just, I missed out a T. That's why you've got more letters. Yeah. Superstition, but I missed out a T and I'm not sure where, but I have put superstition. Four, five, six. Six. Okay, so, so this, round one two. this one is movies, okay? Okay. So the first one, starring Joe Beth Williams and directed by Steven Spielberg, which film tells the story of ghosts haunting a family home? Poltergeist. Yep. Yeah, can I take kitchen light on? Two, which film directed by Wes Craven and starring Neve Campbell, Courtney Cox, is about a teenage girl who is terrorised by a killer? Scream. Number three, which character from the pen of Bram Stoker was first made into a film in 1931? Dracula. I thought somebody would have said it when I said Bram Stoker. Yeah. But I weren't sure what the, how the question was going to go. Oh. Uh, which film from 1987 stars Jack Nicholson, Cher, Susan Sarandon and Michelle Pfeiffer as three single women who experiment with some powers? Witches. Witcher. The witches. The witches. Of, of Cravendale. Cravendale. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese. <laughs> Just going crying. Where's the witch of Cravendale? <laughs> Will you? Both get a point because I gave you. No, half we'll give her half each. Right. Because we did. You were, did the first half. I did the second half. The Curse of the Were Rabbit is a film starring which animated. Bolson Gromit! Bolson Gromit Curse of the Were Rabbit. Been on the ride in. And it'll sit in New York then. Like Nickelodeon Land. In New York. So I mean, Nickelodeon Land, okay. is it? Number six. Name the film starring Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter, directed by Tim Burton. Todd! Todd! Todd Sweeney in the barbershop! Where's he go? Please continue with the question. About a man who sets up a barbershop in London. No. What's it called? Sweeney Todd? Yep. Did I just say Todd Sweeney? The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. The I feel like Claire definitely got that because of me. <laughs> I literally said it just okay. all the way I was going to say Alice in Wonderland. Do we get half a point each, Sally? <laughs> no. Number seven. Who was the female lead of an American werewolf in London? Seen it. Kate Blanchett. No. I know. <laughs> Nicole Kidman. It's Jennifer, Jenny Agatha. Jenny. Wouldn't have got that. It was Agatha all along. <laughs> you wouldn't get that. I've not seen one, it. The last one. In the 1983 film Cujo, who or what was Dog. Cujo? Dog. What sort of dog? Rottweiler. Rottweiler. No, Terrier. Um, um, Labrador. No, he's not. He's 
It's not Saint Bernard. That's it is a Saint it Bernard. It says Saint Bernard. I only said it wasn't Saint Bernard. Do I get it for Saint Dog? Saint Bernard. Yeah, no, I get that. You literally got a point after me spelling out the answer for you just the wrong way around. <laughs> There's ten in this one. This is just general questions. Which game involving fruit is commonly played at Halloween? Okay. Number two. What sweet treat is often made for Halloween using butter, molasses, and sugar? What is molasses? <laughs> Some of it they put in the sweet. <laughs> just okay. I'll give you another clue for that. So. Just think of um, what comes not long after Halloween. What is it called? What is it called? What is it called? No idea what we're talking about, so I don't know. Right, who are <laughs> Dr. Peter Venkman, Dr. Raymond Stantz and Dr. Egon Spengler, better known as? All one answer? Mm hmm Okay. Four. Halloween is also known as All Hallows Eve, but what is another name for Hallows? <laughs> Which TV series had the characters? <laughs> Which TV series? <laughs> <laughs> the characters Fred, Velma and Daphne. Okay, number six. On Halloween, children in costumes travel from house to house asking for good day, goodies. <laughs> yeah, have a good day. <laughs> asking for good day. <laughs> good day. It's good here. <laughs> okay, on Halloween, children in costumes travel from house to house asking for goodies. What is this known as? Number seven. Which TV show revolves around the Harmons, a family of three who move from Boston to Los Angeles, but find that the house they've moved into is haunted? TV series? Yep. The Harmon family. Thing, Thing T. Thing was a character from the Addams Family TV series. What was the only part of the character ever seen? K9, what is the name for a ghost responsible for physical disturbances such as loud noises and objects being moved? What? Oh, I don't know. We had it earlier. Mom, stop giving away clues when I know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> and number 10, which science fiction horror series from Netflix is set in the fictional town of Hawkins? <laughs> yep, yeah, don't know, because I don't know if I've seen that, but go for it. You aren't. Oh, she not watched them. I don't know. I think I know what it is. The answer was bobbing for apples. Oh, I put apple bobbing. I put bobbing apples. <laughs> it's fine. Two, bonfire toffee. Okay. Yes. Three, ghostbusters. Yes. Ah, I put Frankenstein. <laughs> They're all known Peter as Frankenstein. <laughs> the only thing I could think of was a group. Have been adaptations of Frankenstein. I don't know. Okay, no, number four. Question. Another name for Hallows is Saints. I all Saints Eve. I put I death. Put death, I put death I slash sure. spirit. Five was Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Doo Doo Doo. Six. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Seven. American Horror Story. Yeah. Murder House. Thing is hair. I put no. Hand. The hand. Well, I weren't no, sure if it, the little was, hairy thing I was just the hair. I thought it was the hairy thing. It's not called thing. Okay, so number nine. Poltergeist. Poltergeist, yep. Yeah. And number ten. Stranger, Stranger things. things. Yeah. Did you get that? Yeah. Well, I assume because I'm like. So you won. Congratulations. <laughs> Just want to say a big thank you to Mama Dinsmore for being just <laughs> so nice. <laughs> throw you off then. Why do I always lose? It's so rigged. That's the way the life is. Your life. Yeah.
frightening one, is it? <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the first of many of our Halloween videos yeah. in this amazing month that is October, that is Halloween month. Yeah. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave us a comment. You can let us know if you want us to do any other Halloween videos, but we already have our Halloween videos planned. So but we can always do them next year. Next year. So we'll let us an know. Idea. Let us know. Or any just random future videos you'd like to see. <laughs> let us know. Um, leave us a like. Click the notification bell so you know exactly when we upload all of our videos. Yeah, be part of the family. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, Thanks for watching. See, See you next time. time. Bye. Bye. So welcome to our first Halloween vlog. And I'm going to be... It's... There's a snake in my bed. <laughs> and I don't want to say <laughs> Is this the first one? Happy oh. Halloween. This is the first Halloween vlog. Yes. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, we've done that. Yeah. Pause. Sorry. I really almost said the word. <laughs> I just get too excited. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Oh, I like Jack Nicholson, so. Hello. Okay. <laughs> the ghost is possessed by that. I've seen one division. Oh, it was like a throw along. That's rude. Sorry. Okay. One. Two. <laughs> Claire got two and a half. Get this one, I'm gonna hit you both, okay? Ooh. We move into a house, which is haunted. <laughs> it's like a little bit. Seven. I got ten. eight out of ten. Oh, well, it's not a competition. <laughs> it is. It's because we got the same ones wrong. Uh, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Did you hear me say ten?